Hey guys, it's uh, David Peterson from publicdomainphotography.com. What I'm going to do today is teach you how to wrap a texture or pattern around an object in Photoshop CS6. For the purpose of today, our object will be my hand in the OK sign that has been previously uh, cut out from the background and desaturated and the pattern or texture will be the Australian flag the dimensions for both of these files is 4032 pixels by 3024 pixels now as you can see there's your cutout image. You've got to prepare this. If you need any help preparing your cutout image, drop me a line. I'll be happy to help. Or I can send you one of one of mine previously cut out Photoshop images. Um, it's entirely up to you. So use the move tool. Click V or use the move tool. And then drag it over onto your layer. Now, it's key here that we position it in a location, a position that we're happy with. Now, it doesn't have to be vertical. If you like, you can use the free transform tool and move it into a position that you are comfortable with for your design. In this particular case, the this horizontal position is quite attractive now I'm looking for landmarks on the uh, attractive landmarks on the flag and I think that probably the best position for this one will be with the large star here and then the Union flag which is the top left corner of the Australian flag over the fingers should give us a nice effect so now you've moved your object into position and you're satisfied with the position now we need to create what is known as a displacement map so a displacement map basically allows you to displace your pattern creating a high quality effect over when you're overlaying your object so here's how we create a displacement map close layer one the flag or texture and pattern and then you can either press control L for levels or you can press select Um, sorry, image, adjustments, levels. Now, what we want to do is we want to contrast. We want a, a good high contrast um, for, because the displacement map looks at the tones in the actual picture. So, for instance, your whites will push in one direction, your blacks will push in another direction, and kind of your, your mild grays will be left untouched so let's have a look here so we've got a nice black there bringing in a few highlights so I'm satisfied that this should give me a reasonable outcome for the displacement map press OK now as you can see here it's a very crisp clean image what I would recommend is applying Gaussian blur to apply Gaussian blur select filter blur Gaussian blur and just through trial and error I've found that around nine pixels works very well for this click OK now we need to save 
our displacement map. Now you're going to save it somewhere that you're able to remember and easily find. So to save, file, make sure you click save as. So I've saved it as displacement map Australia flag. This way there can be no mistake about what we're trying to achieve. So click save. Now you actually need to undo a little bit of your work. You can do this at edit, step backward, or alternatively you can press control, alt and Z. So step backward and then image, sorry, edit, step backward. We're back to our original desaturated hand. We now need to create a layer of the texture that we are going to displace. So drag your layer and over the create new layer that's the easiest way I find just drag it down over the create new layer and then just move that above the hand so you've got this new layer above the hand now this is what we need to displace we have to displace this layer so the way to do that is filter distort displace now you'll have a default setting of around 10 and 10 through trial and error I've found that t between 20 and 28 horizontal and vertical scale work really well for the purpose of this exercise we'll keep it at 20 and um, make sure stretch to fit is clicked and repeat edge pixels is clicked and then just click OK find your displacement map and then open up your displacement map you see the image has been distorted around here the stars being distorted and this is just lifted slightly at the bottom don't worry about that this is exactly what you'd expect now we actually need to select the hand which is just below in layer 2 so to do this hold control and click on the object you can see you've got a wonderful interpretation right there of your object and now we just need to add a layer mask and you'll see the hand cut out perfectly so click add layer mask there we go but as you can see this looks like much of nothing you can basically make the outline of the hand so the first job is to apply a reduced opacity. I've found that around 77 to 80% works really good, but you adjust it for your needs. So you can just the beginnings of seeing your object coming through the texture. Then select overlay. So you can see here, much clearer picture you can make out the hand quite well it's got some definition to it but it doesn't look it doesn't look quite right so go back and select your layer and we're going to apply a little bit of gaussian blur to this so remember where gaussian blur is filter blur gaussian blur we're going to drop that down to about 3.2 again see here very sharp image there just a little bit blurred adding a little bit of realism to it and click OK and then image adjustments levels just have a little play with your levels until you've achieved a realistic um, a realistic color that you want for the flag click OK and then drop down to your layer 2 your object layer and again 
layer adjustment levels or controller now and just arrange this slightly just to get that the look you want I actually don't mind a little bit of reflection in mine I think it adds a more realistic look to the object so you can see now you've got your flag with a clear definition of a hand and you think and that looks pretty good if we zoom in you can still make out fingerprints you can make out the contours of the hand nails basically what we're saying here is Australia A-OK -okay. however on its own it looks good but one way to add some value to this picture to make it complete is I find is to add a background now open up your layer one your flag your um, your texture layer click on that layer and add a new layer at this point select the paint bucket tool or click G and ensure the color is set to white and color it the layer in white now you want to select your eraser tool you want to set it on 5000 pixels and hardness on zero and select your original layer now hold it about central and give one click I do apologize um, control out Z just step back click on layer 3 uh, the layer that we've just filled with the bucket and as you can see the flag comes up behind there I find personally that one central click and then one click over the object over your hand works really well but what you can see here is there isn't much depth to the image it looks it, it's not really clear so to do this we add a little bit of blur to the to layer one to the Australian flag so Gaussian blur again filter blur Gaussian blur and just adjust that to a level where you can see the hand starting to sand out and then to finish it off edit free transform and just slightly offset the hand from the background click apply and as you can see guys you have a really really beautiful blended texture it's wrapped almost perfectly you've got clear definition of the hand and then you've got your flag or texture or pattern whatever you want to call it in the background hope this helped make sure you check out www publicdomainphotography.com uh, for your source for images of, for any use without restrictions and also please comment please get in touch and let me know if you enjoyed the video any questions any help you need or indeed if you need any flags or background layers give me a shout I've got a thousands in stockpile thanks very much guys hope you enjoyed it have a nice day. Bye.